said I wasn't going to do a video, but why not? It's 9 o'clock on a Wednesday. Let's do this. <laughs> so I just thought it would be uh, helpful for some of you if you are, like, writing papers in college specifically um, about, like, how to start an example for how to start a paper. So in my class, we have to write... Uh, a little bit of our paper like an outline or a rough draft so you can kind of see um, how far I got it's not actually due this outline until the 24th but we talked about it today so thought so you always want to do your headline or header and uh, four line heading so last name page number up in the actual header section four lines uh, name, class, professor, and then the date that it's due. And then a title. So I thought about this title. Sometimes I, I really just wait until topics, thesis points, etc. come to me. And this came to me um, quite a while ago, like a couple of weeks ago while reading, while discussing, I took notes on it. I didn't really know how I was going to develop it, but, and the title has changed a bit, but I always knew these three, basically, arguments or thesis points. So my title is Becoming Who You Are or Practices for Developing a Healthy Psyche. I thought about doing Divine Psyche because I'm, it, like, I think Nietzsche and my paper are going to both have kind of a spiritual sentiment to it but i don't know we'll see but shadow work play and continual self-overcoming are the three practices that i feel are really important like i personally also feel that but i feel like i can find it in nietzsche um for like doing the inner work that you need to like unlearn lessons that don't serve you and learn new ones or create new ones and that, that's like really what i feel like nietzsche's like whole like collection of work wants us to do um so replace the old with the new so i always have my introduction first and my summary and i'll describe the difference between those so the introductory paragraph can or should like give context to what you're doing and why you're doing it um you should maybe break down the prompt or in this case like the title you could uh, talk about the terms that you're using and i usually don't um, quote passages in the introduction because i'm just trying to kind of explain um like what this is all about basically uh so basically like maybe the problem in reality and then you know who I'm talking about which is Nietzsche is going to give the solution but it's also his problem that he defines and then I end with my thesis statement so my thesis statement is I argue that this wasteland entails the exacting and sometimes exhausting work that must be done to prompt a dramatic shift in our psyches these practices include and then I have my three thesis points. So I guess the sentence before that was probably important as well. And then I have my summary. And in my summary, I start to introduce the actual texts of the author that I'm going to use. And I try to go through all of them and give like a short summary that's very focused and related to my topic. But then also the summary and my summary is going to be two paragraphs this time like two chunky paragraphs because I just have a lot to say and a lot to set up but um it's to qu quote passages that you know are not necessarily going to fit in your arguments like your argument section and you see that down here I have argument one two and three which just relate to my thesis points um you know, because like in the, in the introduction here, I mentioned, you know, my first sentence is, as adults, we recognize there are sometimes lessons to unlearn from our youth. And then talk about the new um, values. Uh, but I need to like actually evidence that 
that exists in Nietzsche's text. So I have this text from Zarathustra. So in my class, we the professor wants us to quote from all of the books that he's assigned for like reading and discussion. So we did not, uh, he did not assign Zarathustra, but it's kind of the an important text in my paper because I'm talking about like shadow work and overcoming and I just think that's like it's so clear in Zarathustra but we read and discussed the genealogy of morals the gay science and will to power so just those three so um so I am gonna talk about those three as well uh, in this summary although I haven't yet but I quote a passage from about the wasteland or translated as desert and so in like my translation it is and I'm going to bring in Jung as well uh, I am in a Jung reading group and loving Carl Jung like so much uh, and I came across this quote that also talks about the belly of the whale and it's just I don't know it's just super helpful and I can introduce like you know how entrenched some of these values are like it's not just conscious work that we need to do to unlearn and and create new values, but like we need to go into the subconscious and the unconscious. So, um, you know, and I ended that paragraph with this aligns with Nietzsche's focus. So like, why am I talking about that? Um, because it aligns with this focus on both the field of psychology and, okay, I think I need to revise the sentence to make a little more sense grammatically but and his genealogical excavation of the origins of morality ideas of good and evil stretch far into our past and have become a part of the collective unconscious inherited and then reiterated by one's culture and society so hopefully my professor just accepts that idea <laughs> so um because i realize it's kind of on the verge of being like an assumption but uh my second chunky paragraph is then because I haven't really talked specifically about what Nietzsche doesn't like and what he does like so I'm going to do that I kind of started out with a quote that I'm going to then of course analyze and talk about and then add other quotes so I just made a note that I need to finish that's where I decided to kind of stop and just submit uh, because he just wants something he doesn't want the whole thing so that's what I just submitted what I was working on for the last hour or so and then I wrote notes uh just my ideas about what I'm gonna put in this paragraph and the books that I'm gonna use and then I just have like tiny notes on each of my arguments that I have just thought of but all you know if I were to like to continue really just outline and brainstorming instead of like writing sentence by sentence I would go ahead and just look through my books and find quotes that related and type those quotes out and then you know fill in the analysis and write the actual paragraph so I don't know what I'm gonna do um, it always starts with for me with finding a quote because otherwise I don't know I mean I guess I could start more generally so I might use Alan Watts just because he has a book with the same title become what you are um, I don't think I actually have that book yet so I need to order it and then I'm probably going to return to Zarathustra because like I said there's just so much about overcoming like that's his whole spiel right the ubermensch that's his spiel he self overcomes and then my counter argument we've talked a lot about this in class and I know it's like a classic critique of Nietzsche that he's like kind of arrogant and ranting and I thought that too but um, you know he is you can't deny that he is nuanced even when he's talking about Christianity he's nuanced and he talks about having a healthy confidence so I don't know why I put neuroticism here it made sense at one point and then uh, we didn't have to read the birth of tragedy but I read it it's really short and it's so so good so I think that I can bring in my like religious spiritual sentiment for sure in the conclusion about uh, the like Dionysus and the ineffable and just like that the mystery like the artist is mystic etc 
So I always also just like slowly fill in my work sided as I go. So you see that I'm kind of using a mix of MLA, like my heading is MLA. I don't actually remember what the heading is for Chicago Turabian. But um, I use Chicago Turabian because I don't want to do parenthetical in-text citations. I'd just much rather do footnotes because I think it looks nicer. And it also just helps me prepare my work cited. So I know in actual Chicago Turabian, the works cited format or the footnote format is a little different than the works cited format, but I don't think my professor cares. So I just copy it absolutely the same. And so I just copy, as soon as I do a footnote, I copy and paste it to my works cited. So, so far I've used three sources. And then I had a note to professor to my professor here when I submitted this outline just like an hour or so ago. Um, but I erased it because I'm going to write a new note to my professor after I finish. And that note just consists of, you know, maybe explaining like my journey, my experience, because I, I like as a professor myself, I think that that's really great. You know, it gives me uh, behind the scenes look, you know, and it makes me like your paper more, I think, because as a personal touch, you know, to it, uh, from my perspective. And also, like, just, you know, maybe explaining, like, I wanted to do this, like, for instance, I wanted, I probably will not get to read all of the young that I need to read to write this paper, so I'm going to comment on that, you know, like, I read as much as I could, and like, I don't know if I'm going to read where he talks about shadow work. So other than this quote that I already have, it's kind of indirect. But yeah, so I mean, my next step is just to finish this, uh, this paragraph right here, because I think that'll be really fun and easy for me to finish. And then I'm going to have to, like, it'll be easy for me to find quotes and everything, because I feel like they're just clearly marked in my books. I don't know how to explain that, but they are. Um, shadow work, play, and self-overcoming. I think self-overcoming will be easy, but I don't right now have any quotes from Nietzsche about shadow work. But like I said, I think that, or as I've written here, I think that I'm going to maybe look at shame and just, I don't know, I'm going to make it work. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you want to share your strategy in writing a paper. But I'm really excited about this paper. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And um, I don't know, it might turn into something more as well. All right. Thanks, everyone, for listening.